Hi, my name is Paul Antonio. Um, I have started working with Spellbinder. They commissioned me to work on a brand new product, which they've been working on for uh, about a year, year and a half. And this is the hot foil system, mm -hmm. which we call the glimmer plates. So I, they approached me and asked me to do something fairly calligraphic. And one of the principal kinds of flourishing that I started to show them was this kind of flourish. And so I used these flourishes as the basis of my design. So once I'd done the um, the base flourish, I then went back in <laughs> so that's that's sort of a, a, a fairly simplified version of the flourish and from this I went off and um, I'll just grab the plate So once I wrote the happy birthday, I then, obviously we, we flipped it <laughs> so that it'll come out the right way when you, when you, uh, when you create the, di the die. Um, and we thickened the lines up because if they were too thin, they would actually cut. So we don't call these dies, we call them plates. And from that, what we've done is, so let's just go over here for a second. So I want to put this in the middle and I'm using the grid to help line up the lines and then I'm gonna grab a slightly larger piece of card Here we go. so I'm gonna put this on there so you put the shiny, yeah, you put the shiny side down. And I want this to be sort of here. Because I want space to do some extra flourishing and I want space to do some stuff on the top. So I'm being a little bit more precise because I'm going to add stuff to it, I'm going to embellish it. Um, and so. We're thickening up this sheet, um, so we're just going to add another sheet on top of there, and this on top of there, and this on top of there. Oh. So we just press the timer so that the plate is hot enough. Just wait, have a little chat. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. I'll drum your fingers. You know, crafters are like, I want it now, why is it not ready? But, you know, calligraphers are like, yeah, it's all right, you know, we're, we're accustomed to watching ink dry. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, it's out in May. Um, and so, you know, I, I designed a third of the line. Oh, look, time has gone green. <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> so then we just put that down. What I do is I push with my fingers and pull that out, transfer it to here, and then just hold it in place. Someone's asking how much that will be, that will retail. Uh, $119.99. $119.99. And so that comes out. There we go. And so the, the plate itself isn't hot. The element isn't hot. Oh, it's, it's warm. I put it back in here, I'm not slotting it right back into the power source because if you put it here and you accidentally hit it, it will fall, you could break it. So just be a little bit conscious about it. And you take this off, you take that off, you take that off. So what you have is this. And just 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some embellishment to this. So you saw this design, which, is, which was the base design for this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to augment the embellishments. And I'm going to add some hairlines. So by using the original kind of design that I have. And I'm going to add some little <laughs> leaf flourishes. So I, I'm going to show you a way to, to deal with these embellishments. So these little dollops can produce one or they can go one and two. And so I've put them opposite each other. So I'm going one, two, three, and we're going to stagger them, four and five. And then now I'm looking at what I'm doing. So this is the central rib. I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction. One, two, three, and one and two. And then I'm going to turn this back around because I want your eye to move in and out. So this is staggered two, three, and one and two. And then right next to each other. And there. I'm just going to put little bars on here. So all of these bits of flourishing that I'm adding to this are all historical. So my, my inspiration is, is generally uh, from the historical record and then I augment it from there. So who has a birthday coming up? I do. Oh, you uh, lovely. What's your name? Christine. C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. So we have happy birthday. And so some of the things that you have to be a little bit conscious of is the paper. And a lot of papers will work differently with the foil. So you need to test it first, obviously. Sometimes it might shift a little bit depending on the paper. So this is paper that I use for writing on rather than you know, stamping on. Um, so you just need to be a little bit conscious of that. Um, so this is a paper that I brought from the UK, but it's a, a black, paper that Ryman sell that's really smooth and beautiful to write on and it, it's all if, if you're going to do writing you have to be a little bit conscious about is the paper going to be good enough for both the foiling and the writing so make sure you test it first don't go and buy you know a hundred dollars worth of paper because you like you like how it looks make sure you get a little bit and you test it first um, and test it with both writing and with uh, the foiling um, we have 10 colors of foil to choose from. So this is only the beginning of a range that we're working on. And, um, and of course, there, there are lots of other things. You know, I, I've developed some, some cartouches so that we can write copy on the inside. We have a congratulations. I mean, obviously, I've, I've gone ahead and augmented 
some of the happy birthdays and some of the congratulations. But it's, you know, it's, it's for you to, you know, I, I designed this not for you to just drop this on here and say, oh, I can't do calligraphy, you know, but Paul's done it, so that's fine. I, <laughs> I've designed it for you to, to make you want to embellish it, you know, so that you, you could really sort of feel like you're part of the process. Don't just drop this on the front of something and then just open the card on the inside. I really want you to, to, to experiment with it and embellish it yourself and really enjoy it. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Scrap Time videos here on YouTube so you'll be the first to see all our videos from Creativation. And follow us on Instagram at Scrap Time Photos to see photos straight off the show floor.